Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I want to share with you guys quite a few updates to Samsung accessories. So if you own the Galaxy Buds Plus, if you have the Galaxy Watch 3, or even just the Galaxy wearable application by itself, there's quite a few updates that you could take a look at. Now, if you own any other headsets, such as maybe the Galaxy Buds Live, I haven't really seen any updates for this one for the past few days, but for the Galaxy Buds Plus, for the watch, and for the wearable application, I did find that. So the first thing that we will do is head inside of the Galaxy wearable application just so we can put in the latest update. Then once this is done, we'll take a look at everything new on the Galaxy Watch 3 and then install the small little update for the Galaxy Buds Plus. So here we go, a new version is available, 83.1 megabytes. So now that the Galaxy wearable application is updated, if for some reason you did not see that update, you'd be able to go right here and go to About Galaxy Wearable. This is where you'd be able to see if the latest version is installed. The other thing you can also do is head inside of the Galaxy Store. And then inside the Galaxy Store, you can search for Galaxy Wearable. And then right here is where you'd be able to notice if there was an update. Again, there's two different ways you'd be able to take a look at it. So now let's take a look at the Galaxy Watch 3 and the Galaxy Buds Plus. So for the Galaxy Watch 3, if we head inside of the watch software, you can see right here that this one is a little over 36 megabytes. The update ends in BUD1, and it has improved messaging, app stability, improved Wi-Fi stability, and improved system stability and reliability. So it sounds like quite a few things that is quite important when it comes down to you know updating your watch for improved messaging, stability, Wi-Fi stability, and the system stability and reliability. It, all of those things kind of sound to be pretty important. I don't believe there's really anywhere for me to fully test any of these new updates going through some of these things. So it's just one of those things you just have to trust uh, that it's all being system based. Nothing for me to really physically show uh, with inside of today's video. Mm -hmm. And then right after this, we'll head over and then we'll update the Galaxy Buds Plus. So here you can see that a software update is being done. It's going through. It's going to probably disconnect, reconnect, things like that. Once this process is done and complete, uh, I'll show you where you can find an update for your Galaxy Watch 3 if you don't see the update. So really all you'd have to do is once you are inside of your watch and you tap on your Galaxy Watch 3, uh, once this one is to be connected on the very bottom, this is where you go to Watch Software Update. So this is where you tap there, you search to see if there's an update. If you don't see it, uh, then here is where it's going to start basically installing and, and getting ready. So next up, Will be the Galaxy Buds Plus. But before we head there, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy as Promo, we appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information for the latest updates on your Samsung phones and accessories. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And please write a comment, give this thing a big thumbs up. It'll help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So as this watch is almost nearing completion with the update, I do want to let you know that this software update for the Galaxy Watch 3 has probably been released about two or three days ago. I just wanted to wait for today to shoot today's video. So if you guys noticed an update from just three days ago, this is basically the same thing. For the Galaxy Buds Plus, I believe this update was possibly sometime new. Uh, the other day I looked at my phone, noticed it through the Galaxy Wearable application that this one had an update. So maybe this one was a little bit sooner, uh, but I only noticed it just uh, two days ago as well. So these should be fairly new. I didn't see an update for the Galaxy Buds Live yet. Um, but other than that, you guys can write comments below the video if you guys noticed these updates sooner. And if you have any other watch, any other Bluetooth headset, any other Samsung accessory, uh, write the comments below the video so everybody else can know that there's other updates other than just these two. So the watch update is done and complete. And as I mentioned from before, just make sure that if you are looking for a Galaxy Watch 3 or really any other Samsung accessory update, make sure you select it with inside the Galaxy wearable application, scroll down, and that's where you see watch software update. So now that we are done with that one, let's head over to the Galaxy Buds Plus. Now going right back really quick to this Galaxy Watch update that we just got done doing it actually was a fairly large update in the world of watches so so when you took a look at that one it did take a long time for it to download and install went through even ties in everything else uh, so that was actually a pretty big significant one for your watch now here we go a new version for 
uh, or software for your earbuds is ready to download. Here is viewing the update. This one's going to be quite a bit smaller. So this one was about, what, 36 megabytes. This one's 1 1.4 megabytes. Improved system stability and reliability. So let's go through. Let's get this one downloaded. This version ends in AUC1. So if you're taking a look at the latest software version of your Galaxy Buds Plus, if you already have the AUC1, then you already have the update. But this is what we're doing in today's video here. Now let's go to install. And then one tip I do have to mention is that anytime you do a software update on any Galaxy Buds, you do want to make sure that they are in the case and the case is open. You don't want to do it inside of your ear and you don't want to shut the case when this is when this is working. Uh, this is actually the, the proper way to do any type of an update for any Samsung Buds. And so when it comes down to the Buds Plus, there's really nothing for me to show with this one. The improved system, stability, and reliability. Uh, so really when it comes down to this one, hopefully it's just going to have a better connection. When you're at the gym, when the phone's in your pocket, you have you know metal in between the phone and your earbuds, everything else. So hopefully it'll just have a better connection, reliability, stability right there. Uh, I will actually go back into the Galaxy Buds version, the, the screen inside of the Galaxy Wearable application, just to see if there is anything new that has recently just popped up in terms of newer features. So the update is done and complete. They were reconnected. This is where you can uh, learn if you lose your earbuds, you can find them with Samsung Smart Things or Samsung Find. So going through here, I don't really believe that there should be anything new with this update. If it was, it would have actually told us. So inside of Advanced, you still have that seamless bud connection, use ambient uh, sound during calls. Let's see here. If we were to go to the very top up over here, I don't see anything that is, you know, indicated with the, the orange notification letting us know of any type of, you know, anything that's brand new. So now that we are done with everything, uh, looks like we can swipe this off. We are done with that update. We're going to close out of here and that is today's video. So make sure you guys take a look at the Samsung accessories that you own. Take a look at the Samsung Galaxy wearable application. Looks like there was a quite a few updates that was pushed off here in the month of April. But I'll see you guys later in the next one. If you guys did appreciate this one, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.